Hey guys, it's Dr. Angela Denver's weight loss expert from MedFit Medical Weight Loss. I am hopping in and as a surprise on Wednesday morning, I'm still trying to kind of figure out what is the ideal time to do Facebook Live. So in case you're not catching me live, don't worry. Um, we will post this out on Facebook so you can catch the recorded version. But um, um, coming January 2018, we will start to find a more consistent slot for people to actually catch me live. So thank you so much for joining. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you doing? Um, how is Chicago? Um, I've uh, been seeing pictures. I've got some friends in Chicago. So um, hopefully you are surviving the winter cold. So, But uh, anyways, um, thank you for joining me. This is actually uh, one of our hot topics. Um, how to get motivated this time of the year. I totally get it. It's December. It is kind of the end of the year. Um, I have had a pretty good year. I'm very thankful and grateful that my family is healthy. Um, you know, any type of uh, problems we came across, uh, it wasn't anything that was not that we couldn't manage, uh, so to speak. So we didn't have anything significant, like you know, someone having cancer or anything like that. But but you know, that's why life stays interesting, right? So um, yes, it is cold and a new puppy. Oh, new puppy! That's fantastic. So that will get you extra steps in the day. <laughs> but uh, you're gonna need um, Under Armour, you know, um, long underwear. Um, it's basically like Colorado. You're gonna need mittens, and I bought a a coat that basically you can go to the North Pole uh, for. So so stay warm out there. So, um, But anyway, so I've actually come across many, many patients who are kind of doing the downward, downward swirl, um, kind of that spiral where like you, gosh, you just look at the year and you work so hard. And I get it. I'm tired too. I feel like I worked, you know, quite hard this year in December, I'm just like crawling. And the last thing I wanna do is to be motivated for 2018 because I'm so tired on reflecting on 2017 and just kind of all the things that I went through. So, so here is a little bit of inspiration from me. How do you handle motivation this time of the year, especially if you have been kicked down to the ground, you know, again, you know, our patients had to move, you know, some patients have, uh, you know, dealt with deaths in the family. We've had some people who have actually ended in the hospital for health reasons. Again, you name it, you got punched and then you got kicked and while you are on the ground, it still hurts. So before you actually find motivation. Let me give you the definition of motivation. It's really the desire to do something. But motivation to me seems like a synonym for momentum. Like motivation is sort of like to get the ball rolling. But you actually have to get the ball rolling in order to have motivation, if that makes sense. I feel like motivation is actually a result, not really what you need to start something. And let me explain. So how do you muscle up sort of like time to change? You know, in weight loss, we're getting to the point where like, uh, you know, maybe you're up a few pounds and, and it's starting to kind of get out of your hands, you've had holiday parties, stressors, whatnot, and but then you just can't find your way back on track like you were, you know, several months ago. So this is how it works. So for those of you who actually don't know my backstory, um, I was working as a primary care doctor uh, for almost five years before I started my practice here at MedFit Medical Weight Loss, and. I will let you know that I quit my job. And that still today is the biggest decision I've ever made, the scariest decision I've ever made. Now, um, I'm going to try to not get so emotional about this because it is emotional. Um, I'm going to give you the truth. I did not quit to start a business. 
okay? If that makes sense, I'll let you know. I was miserable. I quit because I was tired of being micromanaged. I was tired of clocking in, having absolute no control over my day. I was tired of working, you know, 12, 14 hour days just to catch up. I was tired of working on vacation just so that I didn't come back on a Monday just screaming with all of the workload that had filled up while I was gone. I backed off to part-time just so that I could take that extra day off to catch up. So I didn't even have a day off. The problem was I wasn't even being paid that extra day. Um, I was tired of coming home at 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, every single night, again, just to catch up. Um, hi, Debbie. Thank you so much. Um, I hope that some of you guys can relate. In my situation, it was a job. It, for your um, situation, it may be um, a relationship with someone, but you get to the point where I was tired and I was beat up and I spent 11 plus years to get to that very moment of being a doctor and all I wanted to do was quit. I'm done. And, and again, I kid you not, I didn't even think about starting a business. I don't have a business bone in my body. That wasn't even a thought. All I knew is this, that I was tired of my situation. So that's what you need first. Believe it or not, now this is kind of a tough love statement, but you are tolerating what is going on, and that's why you're not changing. Even though it's bad, it's not bad enough. And you actually are tolerating it. And I kid you not, I got to the point where quitting my job was actually easier than staying in my job. So I know that, again, take it from me. That's the biggest decision. And even with weight issues, it's going to feel like a big decision. It's going to be scary. It's going to make you nauseated. It's going to make you think, what in the heck is going on with my life? Nothing seems to be going my way. But until you hit to the point where you actually don't like what you see, feel, at that very moment and you're ready to quit and change. Change is actually easier for you than staying in the same position. So before you even get motivation, before you even do that, you actually have to come to that point. You have to look at yourself in the mirror, in your own eyes and say, this is enough. I do not tolerate how my life is going to be. And it takes a lot of courage, it takes a lot of bravery, but it also lets you know that, hey, guess what? You actually control your life. You're the one who actually staying in the same position. So when you change your perspective and say, you know what, I determine my own results. I control my destiny. I love that quote from one of my favorite authors, T. Harv Ecker. I control my destiny. And as scary as it was, when I made that conclusion, then the universe was beautiful and then said, okay, since you decided to quit, then let's talk about what is next for you. So, and it, this wasn't overnight. I mean, this took a while, but then I just kind of realized, all right, you know, one thing led to another. And then I decided that I was going to start a business. I happened to be introduced to someone who did weight loss, who just totally opened my world to something new, something exciting, something that made me feel like this is going to be a better life for me. And then once I got that, then guess what happened? I planned it out. It actually, I had quit, but then I took like at least another year, if not year and a half, to finally get to the point where I put in my letter of resi resignation. You know, I actually bought my office unit, I got a loan, I got a lawyer, I got a banker, an accountant, and then put in my letter of resignation, and then roughly about, spread about two months 
and then we were open for doors. So, so I know this is not a very glamorous story, but I tell you, it's not, you know, it's not a very Olympic story where, you know, this, this person just decided I want to be the best and, you know, I'm going to practice and, and I'm going to win a gold medal. No, it actually starts with, I no longer tolerate what is happening in my life now. You need to, number one, declare that decision that, nope, don't tolerate it. I don't accept it, okay? And number two, you need to be committed. Now, what's the definition of committed? Committed means that you actually eliminate all other options. So I committed to quitting my job. I said, there's actually no option of staying. I actually eliminated that choice so I committed to moving forward and then once you get those two then you make a plan and that's where motivation starts because once that plan led me to creating a business then I was like I was laser focused I was like this is my out this is my change I know exactly what I need to do I'm getting closer and closer and closer that's how you get the ball rolling so I really want to inspire you because I get it I may not have had weight issues all my life, but uh, some of you know me. I have a three-year-old. I gained 40 pounds with Haley. I did my own program. I lost all that weight in three months. But it was the same deal. I no longer tolerated what was going on. So now I encourage you to kind of go through this sort of self journey. You gotta dig deep for December. Cause guess what? New year, new you, you know, brand new energy like I said you can kind of put everything in 2017 tuck away you know wrap it up put it in the past so that come January you are ready to roll because again you no longer accept the current situation and that you're ready to make a move and that it's actually easier for you to change than for you to stay where you are so I hope that helped, um, you know, Elizabeth, Debbie, I hope that really, um, you know, gave you some, some food for thought, uh, pun intended, on what you need to do. And again, reach out to me. We are actually, gosh, we're doing so many new things uh, for 2018. We're so excited. One of it is, is that we are starting a group class here in our office. It starts January 11th. We're doing an early bird special. If you want in, go to www.denverweightlossclinic.com. Set up a free consultation with us. I'm gonna give you all the information. It's gonna be amazing, but we're only doing it by application. So there's only a few select people we're going to let in because this is going to be a tight circle. And we're gonna be digging deep into all of the subjects that everybody deals with with weight loss and the cool thing is is that you're going to develop a community you're going to develop a team you're going to have your peeps so to speak who support you 100 percent so it's going to be exciting it starts january 11th so make sure you get on the in for those of you who don't live in the area we have a app we're launching please just patience just give us just a few more weeks but I'm like building my media library in fact again you're going to get to um, track your foods it integrates with your Fitbit so you can track your steps um, you can order Optifast from the app you can actually join in on various webinars throughout the country so if there's a behavioral therapist who's talking about emotional eating Thursday at 4 p.m. you can register and listen on her if you want a nutrition class on restaurant eating at you know 530 on a Wednesday evening you register for that and so you're gonna have access you can access to fitness and you're gonna have an entire media library from yours truly all of our videos, um, recipes, nutrition, fitness, you know, we're, we're going to keep building. So, so hang tight. We are about to launch it. So, but just give us a few weeks. I know it's amazing. I'm just so excited because we just keep adding things. We're still doing Facebook live on Tuesdays, um, for free. And if you can't catch us live, it will be uh, posted on Facebook as a recorded video. So, uh, so don't miss out on that either, but we've got a lot going on and I'm so excited and we're for 2018. One of my big
big goals is to develop the virtual side of our clinic. So um, we are going to be able to connect, you know, with you, Elizabeth, even in Chicago, we will still be able to connect with you. Um, we'll connect with people in New York and California, but, but this is one of my big goals. And I get excited because I've got my ball rolling. It, you know, I was, I was tired and, but I got to the point where, okay, you know, we, we did well, but it's, it's time to change. It's time to grow. It's time to push. And that's what I want to instill in you guys. So, all right. So, well, thank you again for joining me. Um, again, it really, it truly means a lot for you guys to listen. Um, and uh, don't forget to comment on any other topics, struggles. What do you need help with? I'm here for you. So, again, if you guys are in the local area, reach out to us at www.denverweightlossclinic.com. We're here to help. But let's get through December together. Don't worry. There's only a few weeks left in this month. But we're going to start 2018 with a bang, okay? Thank you so much, and we'll see you again.